Now, I'll tell you what. I love all meat. Meat in all forms. I'll eat anything. I, mean, I ain't picky. Pause. I'm trying to use that now in my vo vocabulary. You know, like how black guys... Pause. Like, yeah, they say, they say like, like anything that's phallic or has to do with gay sex. This is, a break, the, this is a breakdown of culture all right, yeah, <laughs> here on the Garrick's grill ASMR. Here, yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll uh, when Garrick, this Yeah, we'll go, Garrick, do you guys Garrick, say pause? Do you guys say pause when a gay thing happens? <laughs> Just checking in. <laughs> this is great, because then we'll clip it back, and then when he gets here, we'll ask his, uh, we'll his ask opinion. Him. Yeah, we'll make it really jarring, too. <laughs> or I'll intentionally say something veiled but gay. Yeah. And then you can And then I look at him and I go, pause. Pause. Did you like that I did that, Garrick? Yeah, did you like it? Was that a correct usage? <laughs> Was that a, yes. White people just need to be patted on the back constantly. Yeah, we need help. We need help. It's not good. Sometimes you just need somebody to tell you, you're doing a good, you're doing the right job. You know? <laughs> you're doing the right job. You're doing the right job. Yeah, what's the wrong job? There's some wrong jobs out there. <laughs> There's some wrong jobs out there. Oh, man. Dude, I've been thinking about, um... Have you read up on this 4B stuff? Not at all. Really? What's 4B? So it started, oh, wind. Hold for wind. It's literally what you have to do on this show. <laughs> you got to cover up your little mic and just go, Sometimes, yeah, I have don't worry. Go like this and then go, don't worry. We're doing, now 4B is uh, started in Korea. Um, it's like a women's movement because like, oh. yeah, there were all these um, very, uh, anti-women policies put in place to increase the uh, the birth rate. Gotcha. All around southern, uh, all around Asia, really, like Japan and South Korea, especially, the birth rates are plummeting. I knew that in Japan it was uh, they they're a very sexually repressed culture. Yeah. And then that's not even like the like one child per household rule like in China. Like that's a whole different set of. Uh, Does it have issues. anything to do with the samurais? I don't know. I bet I bet it's like you could probably trace a line. About some of the the Japanese like formality and repression. There's a lot of um, sexless marriage yeah. in, J in Japan. Do you think like back in the olden days, if you busted too early, that was a cause for suppoke? Yeah, you got to. <laughs> yeah, that's a dishonor of the family right there. Even though like it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you know, Japanese porn they blur out the pussy. They blur you out the that? pussy. They do. Not the penis though. Not the penis. That's but, sexist. Uh, for some reason. That is like, actually sexist. I think it is. Yeah. It's weird though. They have like weird um, porn laws over there where you can't show a wiener going into a pussy, but they've gotten around it and been like, but you can show a tentacle going into a pussy. So there's like this weird subgenre of Japanese tentacle pussy stuff. I'm I'm just want to educate the people that like your show and that. <laughs> yeah, they Dude. know already. They are, I don't think they do. I don't they know any knew. of this. <laughs> They know that the tentacle stuff. They know all about it, dude. Yeah, yeah it's this, weird. The 4B. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the words are in Korean, but I think it translates. If we were doing it here, it'd be like no butts, no boobs, no bussy. No bussy? No, um, uh, no service. No cuddling. Just Damn. overall, like, no dick allowed. Ooh, so it's just in response to like essentially anti-women government oh, policies. Oh, I've heard. Now that you say this, I've I have heard of this where they're basically yeah. being like, "You're going to be anti-woman. We're not going to fuck you at all." Yeah. Kind of thing. No, I mean, well, you think about how many yeah. women don't even use birth control anymore because of right. like the way that it messes with their hormones. How much anal has gotten so much more popular? Yeah, I think it was that actually. So, yeah. Anal has such been such a rise in popularity. Yeah, they go like, "Why? Why like, Why with even hormones? pop pills when we can just?" I'm thinking about getting a vasectomy, dude. Are you? I was thinking about it today, yeah. I've known some dudes who've done it. Because you can just get it reversed. You can. You can. It is uh, pretty wild, though. Vasectomy, my buddy got it, and he was talking about how he's like, they don't knock you out. He's like, you're awake. You smell the burning. He's like, they numb you. But they're like, it's a quick little surgery, but it, it's like one of those things where you're like, I can smell my reproductive shit getting like cauterized off oh yeah he's like I, I smell, he's, he's like i smelled what my, the rock was cooking <laughs> and it was my vast deference <laughs> damn i don't even think that would be that jarring man i yeah he said it was a really easy but that like the next day you're really sore that you're like you like kind of walk I around mean, like for a, a lifetime of nuts 
for I wonder if it re decreases your nut uh, amount. You know what I mean? Well, you can take pills to get more nut, which I've never really understood. To get more jizz? Do you ever, like, do you ever come for somebody and then they're like, that's a lot. And you're like, really? No. I feel like I've always had like a, well, maybe once or twice. When it's been, because I've been with my wife for a long time. Right. And I don't know that we're doing like scientific studies on my, the volume. She's like, hold on, let me get the beaker. Yeah. Let me get the beaker. But I'm, I, but I bet, but there have been a couple times where I was like, shot a lot there, huh? And she's like, yeah, a lot. You're like, yeah, geez. And I'm like, I'll go get a towel. <laughs> I love that. It's usually towel. when you like, had a particularly long sesh, or maybe you gone a minute between, and you really stored up a good meaty, like, all right, dude, gamey one. I think we might have to stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just, and, uh, we and might have done. to pivot because we're only not even ten minutes in. Yeah, we can't. And we're just immediately talking about nut size, nut viscosity, and nut volume. All right, here's a here's a pivot. Pivot. Let's talk steaks. Let's talk steaks. Actually, I I'll do give you a hot take on steaks. Me, I love taking my lady out to eat. That's one of the things we love to do together, try new restaurants of every flavor, size, shape. When we travel, we, we travel to eat. Where's the place like we're going to go in the city? Where's the place we're going to do it? You know what I mean? When it comes to like eating good in the neighborhood, the last place I'll pick is a steak house. Yeah. Because uh, you, you've done one steak, you've kind of done them all, and they're good. I love steaks, but I think that in terms of bang for buck, good food in the world, why in the absolute shit are steaks like the $100? I'm just like, there, there's so many more other types of cuisine that to me, I'm like, I'm going there, this is a one ingredient dish. Or, yeah. you know, or if you don't count butter and rosemary and basting, I'm like, I'm like you bet, obviously you're- They say it's, go. yeah, they say it's the sides. I get, I think the sides are how you judge a steakhouse for sure. But like, as far as just a steak being like $80, I'm like, kind of fuck you. <laughs> like, I, I would much rather pay too much money for something that takes more skill, like a sushi roll, or I don't know, something a little more complex with a bunch of different ingredients and more technique and shit than just like, doggy, a steak? You better not, like, I don't get why we've made it a thing to make steakhouses yeah. the most expensive place to eat. We're a culture built on meat, pause. I'm like, a steak should be $20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, I got these at Ralph's for like uh, seven bucks. Exactly. Seven bucks, really, exactly. like for a pack of two. And what you're about to do on a grill outside in the park on a beautiful golden hour day is not that far off. Dude, I gotta tell you right now, I just might be breaking the fourth wall. I don't think it is, but I can't wait to get a beer later. Oh yeah. Are you getting a drink later? You know what? I've been doing. I've been riding sober October into sober November, but. I am feeling like... I'm feeling crazy tonight. I'm feeling like, what if? What What it, dude? The thing is, when the holidays come around, you cannot stop me. When the holidays come around, I'm a legit problem at the bar, dude. 100 I'm going up to you and saying, hey, where are you going? Are you going home? Where are you going home? You, you still talk to your dad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah, I'm not welcoming his, and he's not yeah. welcoming mine. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, you, you know what? Get the tickets now. Get the tickets. You're going to want to get the tickets now. I'm not apologizing until he fucking apologizes. <laughs> <laughs> Just front, front load with a stranger all your yeah. shit. Double vodka soda. Double Close vodka. it. Honestly, hold the soda. <laughs> if, my, if my wife asks if there's soda in there, Act like you did. Hold the gun over it. Yeah, I'm a and make a noise with your mouth. I'm a problem at the at the bar come holiday time. Love but it. I love it though because there is something about a dive bar with Christmas lights on the inside that you know have Absolutely. been in there the entire year. That's so nice. I love it's that. So nice. I feel right at home in a good dive bar. I will say in L. A. In my neighborhood, I live over in Los Feliz. There's a couple bars that are divey, but I'm like. I come from a place where they don't have to try to make it a dive bar. No. You know what I mean? Like, there, there's some places that are like, have borrowed the dive bar aesthetic, but there's, you're charging me mixology prices. You, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You know about. what I mean? There's one that just opened up in my neighborhood and I was like excited to try out. I'm like, oh, this looks like a pretty basic design. Like, I get you going and chill. And then places nuts to butts, full of guys wearing the old Seeger jackets, you know, and it's like, yep. I, I can't. 
You know what, what happened? What's up with these hats I see people wearing that are like the name of a city but upside down? I've seen that as well. They, I don't know. It's probably an Illuminati thing. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> I think you're looking too deep into it. Yeah, I'm going too deep. I'm I think going you're just going too deep. I think they're just actually, I don't know, man. I, there's part of me that wishes everyone would just dress like me, who's a uh, New England father of three. You I'm kind of with you. I think you're, uh, I, I love a half zip. Would you say quarter zip? This is more of like a Tom Coughlin style garb right here. Like I'm if, into if it. If I had an all red face right now, I could definitely lead Eli Manning to a Super Bowl. That's right. If I needed to. That's right. You got to bark at him. You're going to need J- Jason Pierre Paul to have blown off J-P-P. a couple. JPP. Of... Blow off oh, a couple fingers. my God. Why don't you come around here, Luke? Let's just take a look at the Let's do it. Let me grab my little phone that's recording my audio. Let's see. See how the heat is. All right. I'm into it. I love it. Garrick's going to show up, and we're going to have his food ready for him. We're going to have some meat ready for him. We're going to have them juices. We've let the steaks come to room temp. You want to do that. Do you? You do. I think, hey, you know what? You're out of your element right now. All right. You're out of your depth. Sorry, sir. It's okay. Just fucking watch it. I like to let him breathe a little bit. Which one do you want? I'm going to give you this one. I like that one. Looks sexy. Ooh. Why don't you put, Listen to the put, your, put your thing right up on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, that's good stuff. It just catches on fire. <laughs> <laughs> instantly is destroyed. Your microphone that you gave me. I'm going to be a fat piece. Oh, yeah. Are you, a, are you a Korean barbecue guy? No, I'm, I'm uh, Italian. Oh, sure. oh okay. Irish. I didn't write. That's so weird. I thought you were a Korean guy when I showed up. I went, oh, a Korean guy. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> no, I'm Italian. No, I'm Italian Irish. No fucking Italian, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, man. I, do, I, love, I love a Korean barbecue place, and I have the same opinion that, as I do with steakhouses, where I'm like, how are you mother... You guys, the audacity to charge me money. Oh yeah. To give me raw meat. Well, I like like what they what do they serve there? Bulgogi. Bulgogi. Yeah, bulgogi. And I'm like, this is probably just like the quarter hinds of a cow. Oh. Or like this is this is the absolute garbage meat. Yeah. Whenever I. Oh man, that's good stuff. That's good. That's good stuff right there. Like that. We just did our show. We just did a show at the comedy store called Our Straight Friends. That's right. That was awesome. That was super fun. So hard. You killed so hard. I thought I did all right, man. I think uh, you did. You had to go first too. Yeah, which I, is hard. Thank you. Well, you know, I don't know. I'm in like a weird place right now where I'm not even like working on stand up or not working. I'm just like I'm not writing as much as I used to. You know, where it's good. I kind of comes in waves. You got to go live your life a little bit. Well, yeah, but I'm also, you know, I feel like my own schedule that I've had for the past like six or five. Yeah, pretty much five years. It's starting to become like counterproductive where I'm just like banging my head against the wall every morning, just being like an hour, hour and a half of, of writing. What's uh when you when you say an hour, hour and a oh, half? Oh wait, there he is. Hey What up man? Oh wait. How you doing? I'm going in for it. We got we got the meat on the grill. Oh. What's up, Beast? We got your steaks going. We got I got a little mic, he's got me Hold doing on, this. I got it on my up. phone. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going for it. How you been? I've been good. How about you? Been great. Yeah. Running and gunning. Been on the road a lot. Oh, yeah. Good. You're a Tiring. Yeah. Tiring a little bit. I don't bit. see how you get it. Here you go, how brother. You, do it? you know, I uh, do it mostly to pay yeah, rent now. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. But no. that being said, would l- I'm excited for the next like couple weeks uh, of not traveling. I yeah. think that everybody that's on the road just has it, you know, whatever the... Whatever that it is, I didn't know that it was endurance, and that shit is uh, tough. I'm, I, my battery's worn, yeah. worn down. I, dude, I I'll love, it. I love going. You on. love the road. I love it. Yeah. There's something about eating buffalo wings in your hotel room at okay. midnight once you've finished a good show. Yeah. And you're just like butt naked on a fucking white, yeah, wet, uh, white comforter. And oh, you're like, I don't give a fuck about anything. That's because you do well. I bomb. <laughs> yeah, I bomb. Go eat shit. I eat fucking shit, and so those buffalo wings are covered in tears. <laughs> They're sad wings. Sad wings. Sad wings are kind of yeah. what you need. What's yeah. that? What's that? Louis bitty because does Spokane, where he like Washington was not feeling <laughs> your no, vibe. No, at all. Spokane, Washington. Spokane was me. not good. Spokane, Spokane was Spokane doesn't like many people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've I go. 
Yeah, no, I'm going to Tacoma. Tacoma. I'm I've done Tacoma. Yeah, is that Tacoma? is that rough? Tacoma's yeah. fine. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. They're fun. Yeah. Uh, but they definitely are like the the New Jersey of Seattle. Oh, oh. wonderful. Oh, Tacoma, Washington. Yeah. Oh, it's, Tacoma is. That's where. Uh, my buddy John Salmon is from. Oh, is and he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, and he's, yo, you know John. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's cool. I didn't know he was from there. Tacoma. Yeah. It's, it's a totally fine town. The club is nice. It's yeah. totally cool. But, like, I did it with Liam. Yeah, I brought Liam, Liam with yeah. me. And I had, uh, we had just done Seattle, which is, yeah. great. you know, very fun, very fun. But it's like everyone in Seattle is like a bassist in a noise band yeah. and has an asymmetrical haircut yeah. and a, a full sleeve tats. And you go to Tacoma and you're like, wow. we don't hang out with those guys. No, at all. We <laughs> you know, hate them, yeah. actually. We have day jobs. <laughs> we, and if yeah. you see my son, you tell him I'm you upset. Tell, yeah, yeah, tell him I'm upset. Tell him to come home. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah. you yeah. tell him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We were just saying, like, uh, you know, holidays coming up. I'm guy like me, there's nothing that gets me more fired up than having a ba- having a fucking attitude in a bar back oh, home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. like an attitude. The, the back homeness, when you go back home, there's something about going back home to and, during Thanksgiving and drinking at a bar. I is like I you know, I'm from Ohio. Yeah. There's like a weird thing of like it's not like there's one bar in my town. There's a million, but yeah. you're guaranteeing you will see a guy that you did not like in high school oh, at shit. that bar. You're like, yeah. I'm going to fucking Dog, see Brandon there. I'm so jealous Fuck of that you, Brandon, dude. of that experience. Like, You're from I'm LA. Like, from LA. So oh I yeah, you don't the, get the... I don't have the go home type shit. I just literally the people I run into are at the mall, you know, and that. Oh yeah, that's sucks. weirder. That's a mall. weirder run in. Yeah. Than, yeah. Well, that's yeah. actually funnier because then you can be like, oh, "Hey, what are you doing, Claire's?" Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like we're both getting earrings for our child. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're getting our, our little baby girl's ears beers. For sure. Yeah. I was like, "Oh, let me see them." I yeah, I, I, I had to go see what they yeah, had for price. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. price comparing. Yeah, yeah. I actually know you don't have a daughter. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. You guys so are just you, both getting yeah. pierced. What are you actually doing here, bro? <laughs> Dude, I'm getting, pierced. getting my belly button pierced again. I'm getting it pierced. Again. Getting it removed. Seeing if I can return it. Okay. okay. Yeah. It didn't work out for me. Yeah, I hear it smells bad. I don't think Rotten. you can return that at all. Boys, you want to come check out the steaks? Yeah, Let's peep the steaks. Let's do it. See if we're due for a turn. Lock in the juices. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Big reveal. Yeah. Bring, bring it around, last yeah, 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 Oh yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Frame it up. All right. Okay. We're All doing right. steak sandwiches. Wait, wait, wait for yeah. these flips. Well, you know what's great? I asked I asked both of you. I'm like, what do you want? You yeah. were like, oh, I'm good with whatever. Garrick was like, I want a steak. I want a steak, bro. There it is. There it is. Good I've lines. Never, yeah, good lines. I've never grilled in a park before. Dude, this is this is the vibe. What's that? It's me and what all me and all my fellow Mexican people do. I'm yeah. about to say, yeah. they really take advantage. Yeah. Mexican folks no. in LA I really s- take advantage of the public parks. Brother, yeah. I said this last podcast this might be redundant. Yeah. I read this book about uh, American immigration in America or Latin American immigration in the United States. When people like first came into the country, yeah. all they knew was like parks. Yeah. Yeah. Like they they would just hear word of mouth, be like go to MacArthur Park or go yeah. to like whatever. Yeah. Or you know, and so now they just keep doing it and they chill. It's great. Right. You I can mean, crash Kings and Years like, whoa. Right. They'll, <laughs> they'll love you for it. They like, do. Oh, get on over here, you know? Dude, when you come out, you come, when you walk by and you ID the song, you go Grupo Frontera, they, yeah. go, they yeah. lose yeah. it. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah I know, I know. Uh, I got to learn more Spanish. That, uh, that fuck it. Bro, I want to learn Spanish so bad. I've been thinking that recently, too, yeah. especially because there's like a, a roadside taco joint, like yeah. right in front of my building. And I want to be able to go up and like at least throw out a competent yeah. order. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rather than just dos tacos por favor. Yeah. My buddy's you know? from, like literally just from New York and speaks fluent Spanish. Makes me jealous every time. Yeah, it's the it, best, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's the best. Why? Well, you I, ever fucked with Duolingo or have you ever tried to learn absolutely language? Absolutely not, bro. No, doesn't it oh, shame I you? Fuck I have. I, I'm, I'm riding a 600 day French streak, dude. How's it going there so far? Go. Je parle français, mais je ne comprends pas le français. Okay. Which right. means I you speak French, but right. I don't understand French. I don't French. understand French. Yeah. I can say I, yeah. you if you talk back at me. Yeah. No. No. But I can tell you some words. Some yeah. words. That'll, right. that'll go great at giggles in Quebec City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking giggles. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bro. Canada as a whole pisses me off. I have not Why? done French Canada. Canada? Uh, I, just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't like their, uh, their arts for real. Damn, that's uncore. a kind of it's kind of a hardcore take. Yeah, I, is it? I don't know. I don't like their every, arts. Yeah, every, <laughs> I don't like their that's like a, at our thing. You know, I hear. Oh, you. oh. Um, I every, you said- every time um, I watch like a, a 
Canadian TV show, it's like good, but like a little off, you know? Yeah, Whereas yeah. like if you watch like a British show, it's like fantastic, sure. but also their own thing. Um, I know what you mean, yeah, where yeah. It, it feels like Canada's an echo of American um, TV, um, but it's like someone describing what an what American it, right, show is right. like. Right, and it's like, oh, I guess that kind of works, you know. What, what show are you thinking in your mind's eye right now? Um, Like Schitt's Creek? Schitt's, yeah, Schitt's Creek is is fine, and it's like, it's a good it, show. it found its way, I think, like later on, but. I think it's a good um, show, but it's weird when people are like, so funny. I'm like, yeah. is it? Is I'm, it? Like, mm. I'm like, well, dude, a lot this of these. good show. This is the era of like the office and shit. You know, yeah. like that's what. I, I feel mean, like that's not even. I need show. to hire JPM. Yeah. Joke per minute. Mm. Joke per minute. Mm. Well, I feel like a lot of these shows now, man, are just kind of made to tune out on your phone. Yeah, I hate that. Like, I dude, I read this book about like um, second time bringing up a book. No big nice. deal. Good. <laughs> <laughs> just fuck it. Reader. He's a big reader. Avid reader. No, are you a reader? I'm trying to read, man. Yeah. I am too. Shit. Okay. Yeah. He's, he's to busting a move. Yeah. He, he, he read about this. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he read about this. Duolingo not Duolingo. This is Duolingo. Yeah. Yeah. I might just show up to a blues bar tonight and just start, they're like, ah, nah, 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 and I'm yeah. just like, ta, ta. Come on. Everybody that can actually dance kind of also pisses me off. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. It's, it's just like, yo, you do just, your little moves a couple times and then leave. Wait if for I a any, wedding, pal. Wait for a, wedding. <laughs> wait for a wedding. Yeah. If I see any choreo, I'm fucking kicking you out of the I ball. feel like that about karaoke too. Where like, I'm a good singer yeah. and I feel very yeah. bad going to karaoke yeah. and being like, I'm a good singer, check this out. I'm like, I feel like I'm stunting in a way that I'm not trying to stunt. That's what it is. And when you see someone who's really good at it, you're like, shut up. Right, right, <laughs> Be right. worse or drunker. Yeah. Can I give you guys my go-to? This is if you're at a wedding. Yeah. This is the go-to move if you want to. Ready? Right. Watch this. Go for it. Oh. Here we go. Belt. Belt. Off. Okay. Hold Belt. this. All right, here we go, Luke. Limbo! Limbo, 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 Good move. That gets right. the party started. You don't right. have to dance. Okay. Everyone does. You get the same to hold move. the belt. You get to hold the belt. So you, you get don't to hold even the belt. Have to limbo. Hey, hey, you're flirting with the cute girl who's the, who's the uh, bridesmaid. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so oh, sorry. No, oh, I wrapped you up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 you <laughs> oh no, you're tied up. Ah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Let me get my belt back. Yeah. No. Oh, it actually fits your waist. <laughs> then it gets way too soon. Then the uncle's like, he lowered it for me, but not for that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're like, dude, it's a line. Hey, come on, uncle. No, the uncle usually grabs you by the neck and goes like that's a gr that's gr i used to do that your uh, your dad we did uh, that in his uh, way uh, okay all right, all right. <laughs> i i need to go to more uh white weddings you know what you're that, actually that sounds white fun. wedding they're fine white ww's uh um, white they're wedding fine. <laughs> yeah, they're fine. They're fine. i don't know i don't Stop we don't get again. enough we don't get enough close talkers Okay. Yeah, do you I, want I, that dude i no. i kind of just it's for, a style of drunk yeah of, just for the vibe though it's just a weird vibe that I've never really experienced, and I need to. I need it more. <laughs> you need more close talk. I need more, more close, close talk. You're the only person who's ever said that in the yeah, history of the world. Yeah, because I get to like be a tourist about it, you know. Or it's just like it's not my entire world, but you know, I get to like think of bits in my head when yeah. they're close talking. <laughs> the close talkers, I know yeah, a few enough. offhand, and you're, and I, sometimes I want to. I wonder because they're hammered. Yeah, it's a yeah. because they're oh, drunk. Yeah. They're doing they, it. They're leaning it. Yeah. Uh, I'm. Boys, I'm, this I wonder is, if I were to call those great. people out and be like, "Do you know that you do this?" Yeah. And I wonder if they're aware of it at all, or I bet they aren't. Absolutely not. Lads. That's, that's, that's bring that ain't too bad. for the thumbnail. That's solid. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's yeah, good yeah. stuff. Look at that. Not too sharp. All right. Order up. I did not bring paper plates, by the way. No, no worries. You want this one? You yeah. want that one? All right. Whatever. You want the big, big Kahuna? Or you want this one? I don't want that one. Oh yeah. The middle? Oh, uh, the the uh, side. Hot. Yeah, the middle one. I think has got to be. Uh, that's going to be a challenge for your yeah. boy, but yeah. That's on you. That's going to be. We hot. don't let these hot. suckers rest. You eat them all, they're bleeding still. Yeah. Ah! Fuck! They are hot. They are hot. Okay. Yeah. Actually, just put them on there, and it we'll let them sit. Warm. We'll let them sit. It is a little warm. Sorry, dog, I ain't surrendering. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm eating the hot, hot, like, hot. I'm a, I'm a man. I'm a man's man. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll let the, the fucking food burn my hands. Yeah, yeah. All right. Who gives a shit? I do think once you get it up, 
in the air. It's dripping. You get a little um, aeration. It gets a little, the buns cool down to okay. where you, this is like great. I, at least my bottom bun right now. Yeah. Nice Hold and holding. Up. Yeah. But this Pause. bun, uh. so mm. hot. Couldn't hold it. Are you eating that? Oh yeah. How's that? Oh yeah, that's cooked well. That's good. Now we're park living. Dude, this park. is, isn't this like the best? This is great. Boys, it's a Friday. Okay, we got maybe we got a couple shows this weekend, but at the end of the day, it's, it's a, a weekend. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know what's interesting to me? Like, people will say, like, oh, you must up oh, car. A cool guy. <laughs> people will say, uh, like, oh, like you must have like fucked up schedule because you're a comedian and everything. And I'm like, yes, a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Mine's like I still kind of like go by the weekend. Weekends the weekend. Mm -hmm. Weekdays work work week. Okay. If I'm if I'm not traveling, hell yeah, I'm with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I feel like there was a long stretch of time, and I mean like years, yeah. where I feel like I didn't have like free weekend days. Oh yeah. Where I would just always have like a Friday and a Saturday show, uh -huh. and now when I don't schedule myself like a show on a Friday or a Saturday, which tend to be great nights to do shows, mm -hmm. I'm like I'm I'm a I'm a real boy. You're real. <laughs> look out! Look at me out here living. Uh -huh. I'm doing it like everyone else. Man. I don't have to work. Sounds beautiful. With Papa Squat Boys, we could, it's actually a high stress to eat while you're standing. Yeah. Certain foods are better. Sit down. Sit down. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Do you guys camp, are you guys uh, campers at all? Do you ever? I'm never, camp? dude. I, I honestly don't like it. Mm. This is like a hot take. You're not into it. I had okay. one experience that was awesome, but that's because I was on probably. 500 milligrams of mushrooms. Yeah. That'll that do it. Sense. And I was, I mean, brother, I that thought I was a court jester mm -hmm. in medieval England. Mm -hmm. You were me, killing. My fr we were ki me and my friends and I, we just said, ah, oh, yes, the mm -hmm. king sits on his throne of lies. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. The it was, oaks were cracking it was goofy here. time. Yeah, but if it's not goofy time, I'm also just like, I, I don't need it. Yeah. I'm good. Okay. Okay. Mm. Luke, you like camping? I did. As a kid, I was a Eagle Scout. Oh, sick. I went camping every month, mm -hmm. all my teenage years. Mm -hmm. I was an adult, I had only gone a handful of times. <laughs> but. Hey, we don't do jokes on this podcast, we mm -hmm. only chill. Mm -hmm. We only chill. Mm -hmm. You've been doing bits this whole time. Kind of. And I'm fucking tired of it. <laughs> now Garrick's finally here, and we can gang up on you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, can, you can just absolutely clobber me. I'm fucking good. I took my wife car camping up to Big Sur one time. Mm -hmm. We had the worst. Like, I was like, I'm like, we're gonna be great. I'm gonna do all the stuff I did as a kid. No, we just had a terrible time and like mm -hmm. freezing cold. Uh, I forgot to put the cooler back in the car. Oh and no! And so just like 50 of the fattest raccoons, just all over the campsite. Like it sounded like there was a rave going on outside yeah. the tent. It was yeah. bad. Car camping and then like, uh, where you like back your car up and there's a little, you know, like you're not. Hiking in the, yeah. the thick of it. Yeah. There's fun. Around. Yeah. You camp? No, man. Uh, I camped. I camped like to go fishing, I guess, yeah. once. So you want to like, have a thing it's like the that's night. gonna happen? Yeah, the night of fishing was sick. I loved, I loved that, and I was like when I was like fourteen. If you ever want to get back into fishing, dude, I know a guy in Colorado mm -hmm. who you get along with. His name's Eland. Mm -hmm. Goes by Black Steve Irwin. Black Steve Irwin, fuck yeah. Dude, he's the man. Yeah? So he has like all like these really cool expeditions, uh, like fly fishing expeditions for like, um, I don't know if it's Outside Magazine, but it's like, um, like, like Tin Cup Whiskey, like all these like whiskey brands. But yeah, he's like a fishing influencer, if you want to call him that. But right. like, he's he's fishing content creator. Dude, right. he did this sick show that I did called uh, uh, Comedians on the Fly, mm -hmm. and we went fly fishing. Fire. And he just kept trying to give me notes, and I was like, shut up, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Did you catch anything? No. Fly fishing of course is not. so I didn't listen to any hard. of his advice. Yeah. It's so hard. I don't like fly fishing because it, it definitely feels less like a leisure experience. Yeah, less relaxing. More like a like a serious, like, you got to fucking, down that there, you got to be wet, you got to get proper <laughs> attire. Waiters. Waiters, yeah. You're literally fighting the current. Mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. I think regular deep sea fishing. Yeah. Even spear fishing. I would fuck with spear fishing mm. for sure. 
I had a bu- I have a buddy who's a um, charter fisherman off the, the mm. coast of Mas- coast of Boston, like mm-hmm. South Shore area. Yeah. I went with him one time. He gets up at like 4.30 in the morning, mm-hmm. you leave at 5, and he's pretty much, we go along the coast from the South Shore all the way up to like the north of Boston, following the school of uh, bass up nice. as they go, dude. It's intense. Nice. And dude, he does not fuck around. He screamed at this like other charter fishing boat. Yeah. Cause he, Cause they were getting too close, or like they like got close road. to him, mm-hmm. and then like they they go like, hey, you might wanna you might wanna turn your, your motor off. And he yeah, goes, Bob. shut the f-. he just like lost it. He goes, shut the fuck up, Bobby. You bring all these googans from Winthrop on your boat. You don't know shit about googans. fishing. A googan is a hell like that's a crazy term, dude. Mm. Is that just that just means like jabroni? I don't even know. I've never heard it used before. Calling somebody a googan. That's fucking crazy. That's a really fun. F- save that one. Here's another fun one I've been using. Spoon, mm. like that. Like instead of like a tool or a nipple, I think it's right a in the middle. Spoon. Like that guy's a spoon, dude. Mm-hmm. He's a spoon. Like someone that like wears their sunglasses like this. Behind. Spoon. That guy's a spoon. Mm. That guy's a total mm. spoon, dude. <laughs> Is that just like straight up Boston talk or what? No, he's just he's tr- he's testing that one out. No, I mean I've been doing it. Us in high school, we would call kids chaches. We're like, what a chach. Chach. Chach is an old school one. It's an old school. Yeah. Mm. My father has also used the word chooch. Okay. Different flavor. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really know. Let me ask you this. When you're going back home, all right, I'll ask you both. What's the conversation that you have? Let's like, let's cosplay a conversation, all right? Mm -hmm. I'll be you. You be the guy from back home, right? right. Garrick, you're first. All right. Hey, what up, man? How you been? Oh, you all. Dog's dead. Uh, <laughs> all kinds of like wild shit. Oh, dude, that sucks. Yeah. How are you feeling? You all right? I'm good, man. Yeah, I'm just doing comedy, doing my thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Like, are you need you good? With I mean, like. Man, no. <laughs> <laughs> man, no. I'm actually not. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, I'm not. Oh. I'm not trying to like. I, I swear to God, I'm not trying to do like a bit. <laughs> Like, that's sad that you're not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, there, there'll be dudes. Like one, one of my friends from high school. So I'm at a, a high school reunion, and I was just like, "Oh shit, what, what, what's going on?" Like, you know, kind of lost myself after high school. Uh, I, I didn't hear from you after high school. But you know what it is. You know, I got. Oh, he blames you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like. What the fuck? Bro? I, you have my number. <laughs> You've always had my number. Yeah. It hasn't changed. That's, oh, he looks at you. Oh, he blamed you. That's a bummer. I'm sorry. I forgot to no, you that on there. That's a little bit of a bummer. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a little bit of like, some people like LA natives. Mm-hmm. A little blunt. A little blunt. And um, they'll say it in like a chill way. They're just like, you know, life ain't that great, but you know, I'm just living. I'm just living. You know what it is. Yeah, getting by, getting, getting by, by, getting by. I've had three deaths this year, but yeah, go, hey, mine, yeah. mine goes on. You know what uh-huh. I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I wonder why they didn't take me. But um, you gonna finish that? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. What's this? Is this punch strong? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no punch. No punch at all. Yeah. This, this you ordered punch. punch. <laughs> <laughs> you ordered punch. You ordered punch. This, this is a bar, man. You can just get. Regular stuff. Hey, right? I'd love to get some of the jungle juice. Mm. Do you guys get some of the house jungle juice? <laughs> I don't think we make that, man. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not selling it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I talked to the, I talked to the guy outside. Yeah, the guy outside said it's jungle juice. Mm. Uh, I don't know. The guy outside. What guy? I don't think. Has he ever been inside? <laughs> he guy outside. He's like, get in there. It's like uh, he's he said it's like the soda machine. You just mix them all together. <laughs> it's a suicide. Do you ever like when you're drinking with your friends, make jungle juice and like on purpose, just really make it ra- like really make it strong, just to like hurt yourselves? I think when I first started drinking, yeah, just to be like, let's get this tolerance up as high as possible, as quickly as possible. Uh huh. A mistake. Yeah. A, a huge, huge fucking. Yeah. Mistake. Then you gotta like drink way more to get to have fun. Yeah. I remember my first weekend of college, nightmare oh, no. jungle juice story. Mm. Went to a big giant. It wasn't a frat party, but pretty much might as well have been. Yeah. On the main drag, I went to uh, college town I was in. Mm-hmm. They have a kiddie pool Ooh. filled with jungle juice. That okay. you just, oh, no. And they had a dude, dude dressed up as like a lifeguard. Oh, that's funny. Kind of doing, selling the cups. Like he was like kind of policing that's the cool. thing. 
And then, he, and then as the night went on, it got a little more lax, a little more lax. And I remember standing right by the kiddie pool, and I hear this girl go, this jungle juice is, like, so good. And the guy was like, oh, yeah, yeah, She's like, I love the, like, little bits of fruit that you guys put in there. No. And the dude was like, we didn't put any fruit in there. I don't know what you're talking about. We didn't put any fruit in there. And then it, you kind of, like, zoom out, and you see this dude who's, like, sleeping, like, three feet away from the kiddie pool. Oh. And you put two and two together. This dude puked into the, this out. guy threw up into the Fuck. jungle juice, and we were drinking it. Fuck. We were just taking big old cups of Fuck. it. Yeah, <laughs> not good. All right. So that kind of uh, fucked up jungle juice for me. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you would, I should never see you drinking jungle juice. <laughs> it's pretty gross. Mm-hmm. Everybody order your own drinks. Order your own drinks. Order <laughs> your own drinks. Bring it, bring it to the party. Unless they're free. Oh. Mm. <laughs> and this was free. Mm. Or it was like, no, you had to like pay for the You had to solo kiss the guy who room. made them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Pretty much that. <laughs> kiss the chef. Mm-hmm. Napkins. Mm. Oh, thick. Thank you. Just hold on. I'll give you a cleaner one. Oh. Oh, that. Oh, no. Hello? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Take a little rip. Mm-hmm. Listen, we might not have plates here, but I will provide, of course, cleaning utensils. Um, that's what's important. Oh, yeah. All right, Luke, your turn. Yeah. All right, here we go. Mm. Ready, I'm you. You are Guy from Cincinnati. Mm. Here we go. Hey, what up, man? What, dude, Luke? Yeah, yeah, dude, you remember, you yeah. remember me? Remember yeah. me? I was in the, I, I, the, for one year, and I was in uh, choir with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 bro. For sure, for sure. Dude, what was SNL like? <laughs> was it fun? Dude, yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. Was it fun? Yeah, man. Oh, it's sick. That's good. Dude, so like, you know those Friday beer guys, right? <laughs> yeah, they're, I know those. They're fucking sick, dude. You got to tell them that I got a good idea for them. Oh, yeah. What's what's the idea? What do you got? So the idea is that I like, I hit my girlfriend, but it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just the worst idea. You yeah. yeah. Like, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah, no. you're like, oh, yeah. sketch or? You're like, what is the, uh, where's What's the, the joke? He's like, tight, tight, man. What have you been up to? Yeah. Oh, dude, I, you know, I'm on kid three. Nice. Mom two. Okay. So three kids split between two moms. This is probably the one, though. You got this one. No, we're not together anymore. Okay, right. So I got, I'm kind of doing my own thing, but. I do have two Nintendo Wiis. Mm. Huge, dude. Which is good, and I'm not talking Wii U. I'm talking 2009 to Nintendo Wii. I've heard those only appreciate in value. Yeah. yeah oh, they, yeah, they're really good. Yeah. Stuff's not so good for me <laughs> either, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're mad happy, but yeah. it's not sounding like it's going too good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the older you get, the more of there's just a great cloud of like, yeah. Oh no, we've lived a little now. The longer huh? it's gone, <laughs> the longer it's gone. You, you went to your high school reunion. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. How was it? It was. Um, oh yeah, we're buzzing. It's it actually was a little, great lighting. Oh, sick. Right? No, yeah. yeah. It was a little weird. Yeah. You know, ten year. Ten year. It was a little weird. Um, it was. I mean, you you watch. My like frame of reference for all of this stuff is just TV and movies. Mm-hmm. So you watch all of those high school reunions, and it's at the old gym of the school. Right. It's and that's not know, what it is. That's not what it is. No, it they're, is, they're you, not letting these adults back to the school. No, no, get the fuck away from the school. <laughs> How dare you even? Yeah, you're think, not affiliated with this. No. This what do you got? Weird Cause, guys. Because you know what'll party. happen. They go in the school. No. Nope. Yeah. People are gonna fuck in the classrooms. They're gonna fuck in the classrooms, and they're gonna like be weird around students. Mm-hmm. Mm. Dude, was there... You're envisioning that this happens during school hours. Not even school hours. It's just like... Garrick's high school back. reunion was at noon on a Wednesday. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I'm like, I don't want any anybody coming back to this, any student coming back to the school and be like, oh, I forgot my, my stuff. And, you know, it was pretty... The school was pretty open. So you can, like, go, go to your locker or whatever at whatever time if you needed to. Just drive up there. So like, yeah, no adults at all, ever, at any <laughs> point in time. But ours was just at a at a bar that mm. doesn't exist anymore. Um, there used to be a comedy show up there, so it was really nice to like 
be in the area where I was like, oh, yeah, I've been stand up here, you know. <laughs> this, is, this is cool. And then... You, is that what you did at your high school reunion? You waited for people to be like, what? You're like, what? I didn't say anything. I, mm, I've done stand up here. Mm, yeah. yeah, no, I've done... I've done stand up. That stage looks like it could it could actually have a comedian on there. Yeah. That's weird because I that's you what might, I did. Might, might do you you might, 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 <laughs> Bro, have you had the old school reach out? I, dude, I had my old college. Oh, yeah, they're like, we want you to come. Like, I did my old college one time. Mm-hmm. Came back, and they're like, dude, you got to hang out, party afterwards. I'm like, not at all. It's actually the last thing I want to do. I'd rather die. Yeah. I, I, did, I did, for the second time, my old college uh, oh, did, homecoming. I did a show for it. And they definitely, you'll get hit up with like, we're at this bar. Like, come on. And I'm like. If my wife knew that I was here going to a bar with, like, literal 18-year-olds, mm-hmm. she would shoot my face with a gun. Bro, yeah. I just did. I just did a show in West Virginia mm-hmm. at Morgantown at this old, like, uh, it's like a college bar. This kid, These kids, like, hit me up. They're like, yo, you want to come do this for, like, X amount? I'm like, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Went out there from mm-hmm. Boston. It's like 300 kids, but I'm, like, walking around being like, Damn, I am old. Yeah, bro. you feel old. Really I'm quick like, man, this is like it's one of those classic college bars too, where you're like, the, your feet stick to the ground. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You feel like you're in like a sp- yeah, the SpongeBob episode. Yeah. <laughs> you forget what 18 year olds look like. Yeah, ch- yeah, they right. Look like babies, children, like literal children. 100. percent It's real bad. It is crazy, man. It's very funny watching kids that are in college do comedy too, because mm-hmm. you forget like I did call, I did comedy in college. And uh, they just like they're just looking for a reaction. You're like, I just want someone to like react to what I'm saying. Yeah. So they just say like crazy shit. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bit of a, like an edge lordy like just. Well, they just don't know any better. Like you know, I, I have no excuse. There's no excuse for like 30 year olds that do that at open mics. But like yeah. they do. If you're oh, yeah, oh, they, consistently. Yeah. yeah. They do. But if you're like 20 or 19 and you're like you don't know shit about anything, I'm mm-hmm. like yeah, you obviously you're gonna like you're just guessing. Make jokes about like Asian people. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> about these Asians. Bro. Yeah, listen, I'm Asian. I'm a, I'm all <laughs> And I don't eat dogs. Yeah, it's like, who said that you did? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Just saying the word gay and that being the joke. Yeah. Yes. Or like the host got up there and he wore a, uh, a tuxedo t-shirt unironically. And I thought that was really fun. And then he did like kind of a black scent, which was also very fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very, but the joke writing was crisp. It was very, sure. I mean, yeah. God. Very sure. He said my name three times before actually bringing me on stage, which was very good. Okay. Like a Beetlejuice thing. A classic. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel bad. Even like these younger kids, though. Like, you know, you look, you, won't, you don't want to be that guy that's like, hey, do this. Because mm-hmm. you don't want them to be like, he was a dickhead. He told me what no, to do. No, they desperately want you to do that. Yeah. They desperately because want they don't, you to they do don't that. Because they don't know. They have no frame of reference. Yeah, I know. Them. But I went up and I asked them. I'm like, is it okay? Do you take advice? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, all right, hey. Yeah, change your whole personality. Yeah, this is all really not. <laughs> this, is, this ain't doing it. You're going to need to pivot. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. call three people F word before, oh, the, before wow. the sets. <laughs> before <laughs> I got on stage. Pause. Wow. There it is. Pause. Yeah. We were saying before uh, you came on, I'm like, we're going to say pause. We're going to see if. Did we do that correctly? Yeah. Hell yeah. Made it. Yeah. Pause. There you go. We're working on it. Yeah, we're working on I'm it. I'm watching a lot of. Uh, I'm watching Love a lot it. of. It is what it is. Podcasts. Oh yeah, bro. Mace Fuck is yeah. Hilarious. It's the best fucking podcast. <laughs> it's the best ever. I, I didn't realize that the ultimate retirement program for rappers is podcasting about sports. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> about, about sports. About sports specifically. specifically. Not podcasting, <laughs> but uh-huh. podcasting about sports because then you get this like old crotchety. Barbershop rhetoric on professional athletes, right? And that's what I need all the time. It's the best. It's I love that, like, literally, Snoop Dogg like coaches. Football. Oh, oh, he's been coaching. Um, yeah. What is what is it? What type of league? He coaches right? LA, right? Yeah, yeah in LA. Like in Lakewood. Look, Lakewood. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> that's it. Like a fucking. <laughs> yeah. we, one year we drafted uh, famous giant Cincinnati Bengals draft bust. Mm. One pick before. Uh, Patrick Mahomes. Oh yeah. So we didn't draft Patrick Mahomes. We got we got John Ross, Ooh. who set the record fastest forty time ever. He was from Washington, University Washington. of Washington. But why would you not take a bet on that? We took a bet on it. Yeah. Took a flyer. Uh, but he grew up and did the fucking mm. Snoop Dogg. And yeah. so when we drafted him, Snoop Dogg had like a video for him that was like That's so right. proud of you, man. Like, That's you know, awesome. Very cute. Yeah. It was very cute. No, he's the, he's the best. Like he's I don't know 
how he became a mascot in general, like a quote He's unquote on mascot. every show. He's on everything. And then even with the <coughs> Olympics, every time any of the athletes saw Snoop, they're like, oh, fucking Uncle Snoop is here. Oh, he's, I'm going I'm to do my best. Yeah, yeah. Because that's yeah. the energy that he pull brings. for Snoop. Yeah. And he's just having a good time. He has the greatest life of all time. I would argue, I, yeah. I don't think that there is anybody that comes close to where I really don't have any true responsibility outside of showing up as high as humanly possible. Willie Nelson's yeah. probably... Yeah. Willie Nelson's Willie good. Nelson's, uh, I'd even contend yeah, Arnold like, oh. Schwarzenegger okay. also fun at this age. Okay. Because now I he just he shows up to the, drink, pe- the gym, people are like, yo, yeah. Arnold, and he's like, ah, all right. Yeah, like, you know, I'm vegan now. <laughs> uh, he's like, I take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> you ever see that? He had a documentary from the 70s. It was Ju- or I forget what it was Oh, called. Pumping Iron. Pumping yeah. Iron. Dude. When he has that clip where he's like, when I'm in the... No. When I'm lifting, I'm coming. I'm coming. I, I get like the it, sensation of coming. I go home. I have sex. I come <laughs> all day long. I feel like I am coming, and I'm yeah. like, this rules. Yeah, yeah this, this guy is the governor this guy of rips. California. Yeah. And they didn't like pull this clip and go, what, yeah. what well, up with know, that? And then California was like, yeah, they're like sick. Oh, that's I'm awesome. I'm glad that he was coming. Yeah, nonstop. Speaking of coming, guys, that should, that segues perfectly into our sponsor, uh, Butter Wellness. Butter, butter sexual wellness. Yeah, do you like that? Yeah. Butter sexual wellness is the men's sexual wellness uh, company for guys like Garrick, guys like, like my boy here, Luke, like me. Um, right now, if you use my code Wrench15, you can get the. Uh, you guys have heard of the perineum? Oh yeah, Gooch. It's the Gooch. Oh, the Gooch. That's the, gooch. the official name. The Grundle. Yeah, the Gooch. <laughs> the perineum. Exactly. I thought like yeah, I, I thought that was like a long earlobe or yeah, something, yeah. a perineum, but. Turns out, uh, it's, yeah, they have a gooch massager, and uh, fellas, makes oh. you shoot further. No, I don't think it, no. <laughs> it does. I'm not. asking questions. I don't know, man. I'm trying to use random. No, it's just it's just good stuff. Sounds kind of sick. I would love to shoot ropes. <laughs> 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 Who doesn't want to unleash a couple ropes? God, <laughs> unleash a few. Wrench, wrench, routine. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I use. I've been using it, man. It's uh, it's good yeah. stuff. I've yeah, never yeah. really tickled that area. I mean, yeah. I know eventually this is just uh, the appetizer to when I just <laughs> put, put it in my put it in my yeah, ass, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, this yeah, is what you, you need. Inch your way forward. You got to inch your way forward. Yeah, yeah. 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 I at mean, some uh, point. Yeah. At some point, you get there. At they, some point, it, whatever makes you comfortable knowing. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah. 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 As long as you know. As long as I what know. What is it shaped like? It's uh, <laughs> like a hard chalk. <laughs> yeah, you ever seen the movie Click? <laughs> oh, it's shaped like a kind of like the kind of like a smaller version of the Click remote. Okay, all right. But it's nice. Somebody just sat on. <laughs> it's like their phone. Yeah, it's kind of that. Yeah, I'm dead ass. Yeah. All yeah, right, all right. But all right. yeah, they got that. I'm saying it like I'm, not, I'm sex positive. They got water-based whatever. lube, and when this episode comes out, they'll be doing their Black Friday sale. So check that out, um, dude. Water-based lube. I don't know about you boys, but I used to be a dry rub guy. Mm. Water-based lube. Uh, now I'm doing lube, and I'm like, I didn't even rub. know I could do this. I, so I've heard this consistently throughout life, and I've kind of just like just let it go. Just let it go. Just went straight past it. Dry rub. Yeah, it's dry bad, rub. man. Yeah. I've done I've done my fair share of dry rub. I can't go back. <laughs> I can't go back now that I've had the lube. I'm like, what am I doing? What do you what is that? Why would you Sometimes I just lube up and I don't even jack off. Yeah. I think or it's <laughs> I, just, I just put out a big a dab of water based lube all over my flaccid penis and go live my life. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> it, in the board it just makes me feel like I can get in and out of situations. In case easier. I need to, I get into a <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, don't worry, I'm lubed up. <laughs> I'm slippery. I'm, I'm slippery. Fucking, I'm fucking slippery. In traffic, I'm more forgiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you can't. No. Yeah, you got it. You got Come it. On, let me flash it. Come on in. Yeah. I'm lubed up. You're lubed up, man. The hell, fuck. The lube head. tube. That's Bro. sick. That is sick. The lube tube? Yo, you guys should. I'll hook you up with some of this stuff. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. But, um, dude, you guys were talking about fucking pumping iron, the fitness shit. Yeah. Dude, I've been going down like a rabbit hole of like these, um, uh, these alpha male influencer guys. Oh, it's the oh best. boy. Aren't they like There's so, so funny? There's so many of them. It's the best. Why because are there you realize, so many of them? bro, all they do is they talk about like the key. The like the key to all their success is pretty much just being jacked up. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, this kid. Yeah, take as many steroids as you this can. This guy rules. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's too bad that the camera isn't on him because yeah. he's the most LA guy this I've ever seen. This is. I think best. that's Andrew Tate. Yeah. That's Fuck. He's, he's looking at, What's up, man? I can't hear us. Okay. Yeah. All right. Not, Just got totally breezed. Two, two litter. Oh, 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 he doesn't oh, speak English. Oh, he's in a fight. 
So that guy's in a fight. So just describing for the people who are, who are watching this at home, there's a guy wearing a full-on guitar amp on his on his, on his, on his like a yeah, necklace, like a necklace yeah. as though he's a Flavor Flav yeah. with a guitar amp on his front. And he's yeah. gonna ride his bike he's home too. Ride his nice. bike home. He's pretty. He's soft. in. He's a, he's, a, he's a solid size. He looks like he's a he Team would, Brazil soccer dead. fan. Yeah. yeah. He, he has a um, up, Will Smith, Will Smith flipped, uh, up uh, flipped up uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Prince of Bel Air yeah. fucking hat. Yeah. Uh, and he was in a fight with a guy with a dog, and he said, "You hustle me, bro." And yeah. we were trying to give him shakas about his yeah. cool, over-the-top outfit. Yeah, and he said, "No, I don't no, no." Ever what understand you... the if you're a guy on a bike or hiking or whatever to be like, I'm gonna beat like I'm gonna boombox around me. I don't yeah. understand that at a yeah. beach, at a at, if you're grilling out or whatever, yeah. you're having fun or like yeah. doing a little party action. I get that, but like. Working out, it is doggy. Put your earbuds. Put your earbuds yeah, in. right. That is an active choice. It's they're like truly. I am saying I want to annoy everybody. Yes, right. you're doing like I don't give a fuck what you're listening to. Yeah, I don't give a shit if you're focused. I'm trying to ruin the vibe. Yes, I'm trying to ruin the vibe. Especially Make it hiking. Mine. Yeah, I'm like. I'm specifically up here to not hear stupid bullshit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. People are like blasting stereos while oh, hiking. Oh yeah. My yes, bro. Absolutely. And let me guess, the music is like dubstep? It's like top 40 always. Yeah. It's, it's always, like what we just... Yeah, it's always this stuff that... That's, that's, that's the not, other thing. That's another hey, one. That's, that's the another biggest lane. one. I'm like, you don't even have a vibe at all. <laughs> yeah. You're not even curating any... No. This, that's a Spotify playlist. Exactly. I, I've that's heard exactly all right. I've this heard is all summer songs. rewind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're yeah. not even you're not even giving me like a cool deep cut. Right, or like, right, right. No, throw, no. Throw on the daily. You're mix. literally giving me Bruno Mars. Yeah, yeah. Every time I've Uptown heard Uptown Funk. Yeah. While Every, I'm in the middle of the nature. You know yeah. what I think those I guys mean, are doing though? They're doing. They're waiting for you to go. Nah. Yeah. Of but course. even then, I'm like, I'm like. Am I going like, man, love love Bruno Mars' Uptown Funk? Yeah, yeah. Where I'm like, if you're playing some deep cut shit, like, oh, Toadie's Possum Kingdom. All right. Oh, yeah, wow. like, sick, dude. Yeah. That's Why not would that I, deep of a cut, I, in my opinion. I can't give a thumbs up to Uptown Funk. No, but all. you know, I mean, it's like calling people, dude. They do that because they go, they drive, they ride that bike around Venice Beach. Yeah. And then it's like people from like Sweden who go like, yeah, this is California. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But don't you want actual Americans <laughs> to yeah. like their this No, song. they don't care. Validation's no, I validation. Think I think it's the same lane of person who loves driving around the loudest possible motorcycle. Uh, yeah, I feel like yeah, it's yeah. that same kind of mindset of like, I'm gonna fuck up everyone's time, like and, it, and here's the thing, that's what's cool to me. Yeah. Dude, I was I like on the it. train one time here in LA, and this guy was blasting Selena mm. out of the speaker. And then I was like looking out the window, just like not paying attention. And then Clocks by Coldplay came on. And oh. I was like, whoa, like, wow. this guy yeah. actually just clocks. killed the, like, like, like beautiful vibe. Yeah. Finally, like caught me. And then I start, I put my hand on the one, I'm like, that's go by in a <laughs> <laughs> He's like, literally like your guardian angel. Yeah. Like DJing I look back party. at him and yeah. he's, I look back at him and he's going, yeah. <laughs> That does sound like a death playlist, though. That's, That's like crazy. what you hear right before yeah. somebody. I, right back to Como La Flor. Yeah. <laughs> there are times when I love like a hot uh, LA day. Yeah. I like driving around in my car and with my windows down. Yeah. You know. That's what I think makes music. me stay in LA, but I get dude. In my head about what I'm playing. Mm. Like certain things, I'm like, I don't know that I need to be blaring. Whatever it is. Yeah. So I have like a literal playlist that I just have called Windows Down. Oh, nice. That are like songs that I think... People would That's too... If, I, if no. I'm at a stoplight and, people, and I make eye contact with somebody, they'll be like, sick. This is antithesis to your entire point yeah. about, I'm not about really deep cuts. I'm that fair. much. I'm go deep. They are deep cuts. Okay. They are deep cuts. But it's enough but I think of they're a, cool. I think, yeah. <laughs> I, I think Wait a minute. These are that. acceptable deep cuts? Now yeah. you're... Yeah. Well, I, think, then, yeah. I think that you... You are, live in a prison of your own making. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Your entire goal should be this person either knows the song and loves this song or they've never heard it before. Right, <laughs> right. Like. And right. that's like, that should be like a 1090 split. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I want you to never hear this song in your life. And if you do hear it, you've never heard it out loud. You never heard you it don't in know the world. You don't know the words. It's You're kinda... just like, I fucking, hell this yeah. This song is dumb and dumb. <laughs> fucking, yes. Fucking, let's go. Let's fucking go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's just certain stuff that I just can't. 
oh, bye, listen bye. to. No, I, I just can't listen to uh, with the windows down. I'm, I feel yeah, the same way. There's yeah. certain songs where I'm like, do I need to be... Because I like to listen to music loud in my car where I'm not For pissing sure. other people off. For sure. Uh, yeah, and then sometimes if I got the window down, I'm like, I'm a little self-conscious that I'm just yeah. like absolutely blaring Death Cab yeah. for Cutie. Oh, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Yeah. You know? Love uh, DCFC, but like... Yeah, yeah. 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 I've been yeah. rocking the new Ammo and the Sniffers album. You know those guys? No. no. It's this like Australian punk band. They have this song called Jerkin. Where it's this lady just going, you're a dumb cunt. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy. Boston is so like, y'all have like such rugby and football, not football, but football culture just ingrained Hooligan. in you. Hooligan, Hooligan culture. Hooligan, Hooligan. Yes. Yeah. We are like I, I compare it to like New York is like your London. Yeah. We're the Dublin. Yeah. Of like America, where right. we just have this very const- Irish. We just have yeah, it's Irish, and we just have a constant. Um, What's the word I'm looking Racist. for? That's part Angry. of it. <laughs> we have 15 million Liam Neesons <laughs> running around. Yeah, it's just like, I just want to yeah, fuck Everyone's you. taken. If I see a black bastard. If I saw, if I saw a black bastard. <laughs> I, will I will find you. I will find you. I will fucking kill you. I do think that skills. him going on Atlanta and talking about it was sensational. That was such a good that episode, dude. Such Liam a fucking Neeson rules. <laughs> I was like. And like, like him pressing him, he's like, so do you feel bad about it? He's like, no, I fucking hate all of you. You tried to ruin my career. He's like, yes, that's the correct answer. Um, he's like, be honest about it. Don't fucking pander now. Dude. You already said what you said. Liam Neeson. <laughs> that Liam Neeson clip from uh, that Ricky Gervais show, Life's yeah. Too Short, where he's like, yeah. Liam Neeson comes in and wants to improvise yeah. and do improv comedy. He's and he's the most intense. Yeah. He's like. Stupid. I've contracted AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the most absolutely so good. awful. Yeah. yeah uh, have you, are you watching Say Nothing on FX? Brother, I read the book. Oh, you read the book? I read the book a year ago. It's the oh. best book I've ever read. Oh, fuck yes. Yeah, so the, like the, the Price Twins, dude, you're going to... I don't know if you've gotten to the part where they get... Uh, where, uh, about you Not about bloody... There's nope. Bloody Sunday, nope. but there's also like... Yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but yeah. like, there's a lot that goes, dude. I don't know much the about book, the show. The I've book and like the IRA. Who's um, have they already talked about the main guy of the IRA, the political the on the dark. political side? Oh, on the political side now, dude. It's, I think yeah, you should also read Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Davis. Jerry, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Jerry's Jerry's Jerry Adams. Jerry, Jerry Adams. Adams. Jerry Adams. Not David. Jerry Adams. So like um, that guy was like, yeah. you read the book and you realize like this guy's either like a snake or he's played it perfectly the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Because it's it's uh. It just gets more and more ratcheted up. Yeah. And it's like it all started with like the Protestants, dude. All they did was like they tried to have like a peaceful protest, and they they just, yeah, they just cornered fucking, them and started throwing what, rocks. Yeah, at that's it. the first episode. It's it's fucking fire. It's really good, I, man. I was um, as soon as I finished the first episode, I was like, oh, I need to learn about North versus the Civil it's, War. Yeah. The North versus yeah. South. I mean, it was a war zone for effectively thirty years. That's crazy. And it's uh, it was all over just yeah religion and yeah. but it just. When you have it's people really that are that angry, Irish car bombs. Yeah, you're like, oh, it's really actually fucked up oh, to be. Shit. Like in college, we would. Look, it was just I every mean, bar you order bomb. that. Yeah, and it's just like, oh no. It's like actually, actually that's like a real thing. That's like died. not that in our very recent past. If you, yeah. if you, no, if like, you, yeah, I've like yeah. the eighties. I was like, oh, sh- oh shit. If you want a really good movie, also uh, that Liam Neeson's in about Irish history, the Paddington Two. Yeah, Paddington Two. The big, the movie. big man. The big man. It talks about him being. Uh, he plays like an Irish revolutionary leader. They, his name was the big. Uh, his nickname was the big man. But like, it's set in like 1920s. Eamon De Valera is in it. Um, it's it's very very good. Man. That's is that not about Jerry Adams? No no no. This was based in like the 1920s when they oh. finally made like the the peace agreement. Okay. Um. Uh. Like the, the because Jerry Ireland was a, a sec like efficiently, not the word. Effectively, a um, a colonized state of yeah, Britain up until like 1928. Yeah, and they did the the treaty to a, get it. Yeah. yeah, but like that's the reason. And then there was an Irish civil war after that between yeah. both sides because they were like, you didn't go far enough. Why do we still have? Yeah. Why is Belfast still? Right. And that's why it's still British. fucked today. Yeah. But dude, yeah, I mean, the IRA used to disappear people too. Yeah. Right. Like bad stuff. That's, I mean, that's what this shit is about. Yeah. Man. It's really good. No, thanks. Yeah. I mean, I'm into that kind of shit. This is what this pod is about, dude. As the sun sets, we talk about our books. Talk about books, bro. Talk about cutting And this is is what I I had two esteemed gentlemen on, two great comedy fucking legends. And we talked about books. Thanks. And we talked about farting and poop. Yeah. Um, That's right. Actually, we didn't really talk. We were talking about... 
We immediately started with cum stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. immediately cum started stuff. talking about he cum. He had to put a kibosh on you it. Guys, I did. Like, What's you guys' consistency like? <laughs> yeah, really I know. viscous. Really viscous. <laughs> it's viscous. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> really viscous. Yeah. yeah. You, you know Play Doh? Oh. Mm. Yeah, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Yeah. Coming out? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, like the, when you know you do this <laughs> Playboy <laughs> Play Doh spaghetti. Oh, Where you. Put oh, the shit. In and then it, the hair comes out. It's all spaghetti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have several urethras. <laughs> yeah, I have a few. Yeah. And it's really oh, bad. Oh, yeah. No. Dude, the yeah, the vasectomy did not go well. Okay. <laughs> all right. So they cut everywhere. Yeah. There's... All right. Garrick, tell the people where they can find you. Oh, I'm uh, Garrick Bernard on um on Instagram on Blue Sky. Are you That's doing that? I'm doing I'm on Blue Sky. I, my, my wife wants me to do it. And yeah. I'm like, I don't even like. Yeah. Any of them. Yeah, no. Maybe I go clean break on all of them. Dude, Maybe you should. I, I have think a, that's going to be the wave. Haven't been on Twitter years. since 2016. There you go. Literally, it's I, not worth it. I'm it's only on there for do. sports. Yeah. Literally, on the, like, while live sports are happening, it's I, I only follow Bengals yeah. and Reds people. There you so. go. There you go. It's, that's some, like, it's, it's but nice. other than that, it's Nazis and porn bots. It's, <laughs> like, really bad. It's bad. It's gotten really bad. Really bad. I don't yeah. want to be on there anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, Luke, we're going to find you. Uh, Nazis and porn bots dot com. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> adding to two. Adding to, adding to two fan reactions. Fan, fan That's my YouTube channel. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm Luke Nall and all the stuff. Whatever whatever Doom Scroll app is putting wormholes in your little brain right oh now. My God. I'm on there and I'm doing crap on there. All right. Hell yeah. Luke Nall. Hey, yeah, boys. I'll, I'll be in um, Phoenix. All right. Yeah, Scottsdale, December 10th at the Barstool Bar. So. Ooh. Oh shit! Yeah, it's gonna be That'll fucking be weird. That's gonna be wild. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, they're gonna call you a queer so it's hard. It's gonna be yeah. so bad, dude. Uh, also, I'll be in Boston for Christmas shows, and then um, just announced uh, New Year's Eve uh, Dead Crow Comedy Club, Wilmington, North Carolina. So nice. Sick. I want to do that place. I'm excited. All right, boys. Hey. Been fun. Hey, what? what good the? steak, Sammy. Yeah, Has it been right. a good steak sandwich? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Boys, Slam this is what it's all about. Like, look at this beautiful. Like, they can't see this, obviously, but that's okay. I gotta do this. Now. Isn't this great? Just, just outdoor shit. You know, just like chewing a Bro, I mean, I'm rocking my jeans and flops. You're wearing shorts and a sweatshirt. Oh no, man, this is fucking big shorts. Boys, it's, it's a nice like balance. I mean, like this is why I live in LA. I think. Like today, I'm like 65 degrees sunny. Like, yeah, it's great.